Coastal Province and all other hotspot areas in our country. About 400 officers are being flown to Mombasa this morning and some of them are about to arrive. All officers under them are under farm instruction to be keen and on the lookout for any possible assailant's attack. Police officers are further directed to use their firearms as provided for in law and ensure that no further loss of lives of police officers and civilians is experienced here and before. The Inspector General of Police assuring residents of the coastal town of Mombasa after six police officers were ambushed by attackers suspected to be MRC members last night. This after the Monday night deadly attacks on police officers. Members of the public are called upon to come out in large numbers to exercise their democratic right and by around five today majority of the members will have already cast their votes, electing the leaders of their choice. No member public should be threatened by all costs. The police service is committed and ready to put their lives online as long as members of public are secured. KTN also had a chance of going through the central business district. Most business premises have been closed to allow voters to go out and cast their vote at one of the polling centers along Moya Avenue. Hundreds, thousands of people have lined up to cast their votes. Some of them say they have been there since 2 a.m. in the morning. But from the heart of Madare slums, my name is Dennis Onsarigo. Back to you in the studio. Many thanks, Dennis Onsarigo. And uh, that was the Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, giving his assurances to the country that indeed there will be peace. As we mentioned earlier, there are more than 90,000 security officers deployed across the country.